I think our spectator count's gonna be biggest probably we've had in the last five years, I really think. Well it feels like it feels like the first show of the year. And, and, and there's people coming from everywhere right now. So they're coming from Texas, Florida, I Tennessee. Up, Honestly, I expect it to be big because everyone's been stuck in the house. It's always been fun. So I, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff out here. I'm excited to see a lot of it. So everything got postponed and then they were like I was about to have a show back to back to back to yeah. back like I come here then like I think what was after this one uh was it Atlantic City yeah I think it was Atlantic City after this well, one. We, yeah. and that's all we do we, I mean we go to a show and we go back to Texas and then we you know it's about three weeks or so then we go to another show this year it had it to where it was like <laughs> you're going here then there then there oh, then, then back like to back to back days. my buddy's here from Georgia I know a lot of people from Texas are here a lot of people from Louisiana came down. I got buddies from Michigan that I drove down. So there's people from all over the country that are coming to this because it's the first show that we've got to have. This is the most crowded I've seen it and like the most traffic I've seen because I've always lived in this area when it's going on. Yeah, that's my first one since quarantine has been kind of lifted. So uh, I can't wait, man. I'm excited. Um, I hope to see some cool rides. Like the normal years when there's no quarantine. We're in New Orleans, scraping the coast 2020. This is the start. We're picking up our uh, chariot right here, the yellow 26 foot uh, Hino. And uh, we're gonna be mobbing all day in this bad boy, so let's go. Stop two, scraping the coast. At Will Pros loading up the gear, getting all of our stuff ready to go. We'll go pick up our guys at the airport here in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll start heading to Biloxi. So scraping, we'll see you soon. Uh -huh. We're gonna start, we're gonna, they're gonna want us to start set up tonight, so we can kind of get ahead of it, right. so we're not busting ass all day tomorrow. Right. Buddy right. was gonna help me work on it. Uh, he's kind of been dragging his feet on me a little bit, you know? Yeah. We're finally back on the road in New Orleans. We're about to hit the road to Biloxi, Mississippi. We're going to uh, scraping the coast for the weekend. Yeah, from, from, from here, this way is yours. You can do however you want to do okay. it. Okay, because Greg, you guys said bring a bunch. I got like 30 trucks. Well, so what we'll have to do here. as long as we leave an emergency lane open, right? Yes, we you can, can line do them either off. side as long as I can get an ambulance in okay. here. Doing the setup, it's hotter than train smoke. By the time we're done, Pedro's gonna look like Joe. 2020 Scraper Coast was pretty, uh, it's pretty wild, man. Yeah, a lot of people show up. I'm an iPhone professional. <laughs> I got the iPhone, man. The whole thing with uh, the COVID going on and nobody had nothing to do for a long time, but then everybody had a chance to come out this weekend. It definitely shows. A lot of people here. I don't like to see much of the show, honestly. <laughs> Training for you. <laughs> Very course, man. Oh, it's hot, but great, like always. Scrape it's a fun show. Scrape it's a fun show. I think everybody is though. I think the coast is ready for something to happen, you know, because they've been all cooped up. The restaurants, the hotels, everybody. You know, they they all behind them. They need it because they haven't had nothing this year. And, you know, they gotta have it to make, to make their year. And with this being really the first weekend that they've had anything since all year, they they really counting on it. It took us an hour to move like three miles. It was there were a lot of people. Then you chalk. Gotta put chalk on your stick. The show's been huge. Like I did not think it should be this kind of tournament. Man, they really, they really scraped the bottom of the barrel today. Hey. Now we're here. Hi. What am I doing? Who are? Who am I? I'm one of the American Force models, Victoria. The show was super packed. It was awesome. I'm just ready for some tacos. <laughs> we're gonna make some uh, arrachera. All right. So this one's called I think it's meal. The local meat market in Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs> Because you got some people that's timid, and, and I tell them, it's like, hey, you feel fine, come out. If you don't, stay home. Nobody's telling you you got to come out. You know, I mean, most of the shows outdoors, you know, and, and you know, if you, if you like to, if you're a timid person, you don't, don't come out. Glad to 
glad to finally be back on the road doing shows again. It, uh, you know, the quarantine and, and things like that that had to happen, we understand. Um, but it's great to get out and see all of our friends and our family and uh, uh, our AFW team and uh, travel and do events, and that's what we love to do. So hopefully, uh, hopefully as 2020 comes to a close, we'll get to do a bunch more and uh, they don't get canceled. But, you know, if they do, we understand. But uh, we love coming out and seeing you guys and can't wait till the next one. Scraping the coast 2020, coming to a close today. Record number of vehicles. Man, just want to say that we appreciate the love and the support with everything going on. It was amazing to see everyone come out, just uh, hang out, say hi, and uh, come by the booth. And the t-shirts flew off the shelf, and we appreciate and love every one of you. So thank you guys, and have a safe trip home. Look, if I want to do something gangster, right, it's just like a quick, just like... Inside, See, look. <laughs> look, now I'm good to go, right? Look, straight gangster. But then I'm like, oh, God, it's kind of hot out here before we go rob this bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding.